Do you want to be like Jesus, to experience the power he had, the life he lived? If so, listen to this devotional, written by Ellen G. White. To be like Jesus, Christ points us to a more glorious world, August 16. We do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18. Earth and earthly things will perish with the using. A few years will pass by and death will come. Your eternal destiny will be fixed, eternally fixed. If your soul is lost, what will compensate for its loss? Christ the life giver, Christ the redeemer, Christ the lamb of God who taketh away the sins of the world points you to a nobler world. He brings it within range of your vision. He takes you to the threshold of heaven and brings you to contemplate the glories of eternal realities that your aspirations may be quickened to grasp the far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. As you contemplate heavenly scenes, desire is kindled in your heart to have friendship with God, to be wholly reconciled to Him. Our Savior's work is to adjust the claims between earthly and heavenly interests, to put the duties and responsibilities of the life that now is in proper relation to those that pertain to eternal life. The fear and love of God are the first things that should claim our attention. We cannot afford to put off that which concerns our soul's interest till tomorrow. The life which we now live, we are to live by faith in the Son of God. We are redeemed from the burglary elements of the world with a redemption that is full and complete. They cannot be increased by any supplement from human sources. But in the midst of this flood of mercies, this plentitude of divine love, many hearts continue in indifference, careless and unimpressed by the provisions of God's grace. Shall we who claim to be Christians make no effort to break the spell which Satan has cast upon these souls? Shall we let them go on in hardness of heart, without God and without hope in the world? No, Every, although every appeal we may make may be slighted and refused, we cannot cease to pray for them and to make tender entreaty for their souls. We must do all we can through the aid of God's Holy Spirit to break down the barriers by which they have sought to make themselves impregnable to the light of God's truth. We must seek to open their eyes to their blindness, to lose them from the captivity of Satan. The Signs of the Times, July 17, 1899. Lazarus, come forth. Loose him and let him go. Thank you so much for listening to this devotional. If you want to listen to much more of the Word of God, subscribe to the Evangel Living Podcast today.